Hello YouTube, and if you've been keeping up with the latest tech news, you'll know that a couple weeks ago, Google had uh, their yearly developer conference, Google I.O., and one of the things that they announced at I.O. was an Android IDE called uh, Android Studio. It's still in a preview state, but for a preview, it's still really stable. So I've been I've been using it ever since it was announced at the uh, keynote, and I just want to show you some of the cool things that I found, as well as reiterate some points from the keynote. And I know there was a they uh, there was a uh, conference on a uh, not a conference a uh, what is it a uh, I guess a lecture kind of thing on uh, the new. Android uh, Studio and the build system and everything, but I'll just give some uh, very basic, basic things. So there's the uh, splash screen here. It starts up like that. On your left, you'll see some recent projects, and then I I've just been kind of messing around with that a little bit. So let's just create a new project. I mean, this is like always up to date too. Like, so there's not like your up, updates will be pushed like pretty frequently, so you don't have to worry about it not being up to date. Here, let's call this um, Hello Studio. Then it gives us a warning that we can't use that. Cause it's supposed to be a placeholder. Um, hmm. Well, let's make it. I did this. Doesn't really matter. And then we can create an activity if we want, custom launcher icon, uh, mark it as a library. I'll just leave that as it is. Blank screen, sure. Sure. And it'll give it a second to, uh... There we go, it'll build the, uh... It's using the Gradle build system, it's a highly customizable build system so that you can, say you're publishing a paid app and a free app, well the package names should be different. Well you don't have to create two separate applications or create like a library project and then have a free version linked to that and then a paid version linked to that. With Gradle you can change, you can create a, what's called, I think they're called build variants. So you can change uh, D. You can change the build variant from free to paid, and then you can have little clause that'll change the uh, package name. Like maybe it'll add like dot pro dot something or dot free dot something. Anyway, here's the environment. It's over here, let me see if I can stretch it out here. I don't know why it's all right. Yeah. On the left, we have our project being here. Then it'll show us all these, and then I guess the file system is like kind of extensive in the sense that, yeah, there's that. So you can see there's like two build files and a settings thing. Now the build variance was the thing I was talking to you about. You can change a build variance. I think it's it must be in this one. I think. Yep, there it is. And then we can create like a uh, we can call it uh, like uh, I don't know um, debug and then have the same uh, bracket kind of thing here and then set uh, the package name and things but that's not what I was gonna talk about it's actually going to the code here and then I have this dark I just haven't have this dark theme enabled here and you can see on the top there's the uh, AVD manager, SDK manager, and uh, DDMS monitor. And then something interesting is now that you now it's the uh, usually what happened before with Eclipse is you just kind of run it and it would compile and run your application. Now there's a uh, separate make project kind of thing. So like Gradle will compile your project, make sure there's no errors, and then you can choose to run it. So it's kind of like a two-way, two-step. Uh, deploy I guess anyway let's kinda get in a little bit here um, of course you know you'll have something like uh, like one of the cool things with this is if you just go to the quick fix thing 
you, it brings like this uh, like a floating pane kind of out, and then you can use. And of course, you can do something to create methods. And then you saw like there was red squiggles here. Um, let's see, what else do I have on the list? Oh yes. And then it'll kind of it'll auto it'll auto complete like um, how I guess Xcode would in the sense that you just start typing and then it'll automatically kind of do it here. Oh, okay, here, old well, here. Let's get into the resources. You can see on this design view, there's the the huge palette here with the little. <clears throat> animation now while this is a uh, preview it it's still there's some I guess there's some kind of bugs and there's some not fe there's some features not entirely supported but I'm I'm cool with that. I've been using it for a long time and it's I think it's still like incredibly stable here let's, let's, let's call this something let's, 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 let's make a new ID value oh wow I guess you can create a little ID file here but now nah, I don't want that let's say that's one of the things uh, you'll notice here. It's called a. Uh, it's called. What is it? Uh, resource folding. That's what it's called. You can see that if I hover over this, it's actually given a uh, at sign string hello world value in my strings resource file. But what it'll do is it'll using resource folding, it'll actually get the string from that resource and put it there. I think I can. I can. Whoops. Not the right one. I can open the fold like this, or as you just saw, I can close the fold like this, so that you can see visually like what this, what the result of this thing. You can even format the strings, and it'll still output a valid result. And then there's a way to extract strings that I'll tell you later. But right now, I should probably give this an ID. There we go. And then ID plus. And then and it it'll auto save too. So there's you don't there's no manual save I guess. I mean there's there's like a save all, but in general, there we go. One of the other cool things I think is called uh, variable refactoring. I guess I kind of mentioned this, but yeah, it, it's like a in my on my Mac it's Option Command V. And then what you can do is it'll take the result of this method and then it'll put that slap a variable before that and let's just call this view but of course this this fine it's not it's not a it's not a generic view I want it to be a text view so we just type in text view and then I can import that I don't where is it yep I'll just import that and then it'll automatically do a typecast and then it'll tell me it's not Use and I can remove it if I want. <clears throat> I can also put something like spring text. And then it'll say it'll ask me to uh, create a new method because it, I, I can uh, uh, what is it? Use a polymorphism or I can remove that first parameter. Or uh, but if I put it here, or I say something like. It'll give me the option to actually add this as a parameter here. So that, that's really nice if you just need to change methods or if there's some method calls that you really need to change the parameters of. You can and then you can also remove the parameter and it'll remove it from all method calls. Uh, anytime you call, like say do something, it'll automatically remove that. Hmm. Let's see what else I have here. Ah. Oh. I mean I already showed you um <clears throat> I already showed the resource folding, but let's say I do something like set text. What I can do with this is I probably shouldn't be hard coding any kind of string values, so I, I have the option to extract this as a string resource and drop it into a values folder. Like I'll just call this uh, underscore. Oh, it's not. That's not a good one. That's what I mean. All right, and you can see that I can also fold this if I. What is it? Yeah, there we go. And you can see I can fold it, and if I change anything in the string file, 
this uh, resource for old will also change as well. Uh, another thing is, where is it? Ah, unwrap. Say you have a, you know, say you do something stupid like if five is greater than one, you can see that you're gonna. It'll tell you. It'll automatically evaluate any literals in here, and it'll tell you that you can simplify this to being true. Right, because a f five is always greater than one. There's no like doubt here, or better yet, what you can do is you can invert the if condition, and then it'll automatically uh, it'll generate these things. Like oh, I mean, overall, the generation of this is actually really is actually fairly good. But but let let let's uh let's let's have a little bit more complicated case. I I guess I kind of demo some of this at uh at uh, the Android the new Android tools uh conference lecture whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll just call this is true equals false right now. And I'll just set is true. Oops equal to true and then I'll just say if it is true there we go and then I just like say something like uh, set text certainly but you know since it's launching in on create and it's true if I know it's always going to be true I can just do uh, what's called unwrap remove and then I can just choose to unwrap the if statement and it will automatically delete the if statement here let's see what else I have here ah here we go uh, this is actually one of the most useful features here uh, it's called find action it's just shift command a or whatever the corresponding windows keys is and if I ever need to look for any Option like say I'm looking for no uh, yes like, um say I'm looking for scopes right because scopes is another uh, new feature that you can tag I'll I'll show you in a minute uh, it's like I'm looking for scopes or I'm looking for uh, yeah I mean, unwrap remove is also there go if I'm looking for anything at all I just use find action and then it'll automatically open up the preferences or whatever or such so it, it's really good if you if you if you're be, if you're beginning to learn studio find action is really helpful if you just need to stop navigating through a ton of menus and just need to find something now I like I was talking about scopes you see how these are in a uh, different like a yellowish kind of hue now let's say I open up uh, something here. Let's say I open up activity. You can see that all of this is in some uh, ye yellow hue, and then you can see even the tab here is in a yellow hue. What that means? That's what scopes is. What it does is you can make a uh, like in this case. In this case, the scope is anything under the SDK thing. This prevents you. From say uh, you have a library that you're incorporating to your project, but you don't want to add, change any of the code in the library itself. What you can do is set up a scope to look through, just like say, um, I guess in this case the scope was external libraries, and then uh, you could also like say uh, anything that has the com dot whatever dot something prefix, or something, and then it'll it'll mark all those with a certain color so that when you open it up you'll say oh geez I'm editing the library I probably shouldn't be doing this it makes it blatantly obvious if you're editing the library or not now uh, keep in mind that these are only a few of the features that I'm going to be talking about yeah there's there's a hundred there's probably hundreds more features and more features are being added 
as I, as we speak, more features are being added and they're being pushed in updates. So make sure you always keep your Android Studio update. And from my personal experience, Android Studio I think is already somewhat better than Eclipse if you're not looking for some of the advanced functionality. I mean, this has some advanced functionality that Eclipse doesn't have. Like uh, I think Advanced Grid View Layout was one of them. Uh, so I mean, we don't. It, I would. Start. I started using this, and I'm not regretting switching back from the clunkiness of Eclipse. So, I, like I said, these aren't all of the uh, features. You can go online to a developer.android.com and look for the uh, Android Studio link, and I'm sure they have a ton of features list, some bugs there that you should that you should be aware of. And well, here it is, Android Studio. Get it now. It's available, and make sure on your way of getting it, click the uh, subscribe button. Good night.